Small, inexpensive drones could have an impact as great as desktop computing did in the 1980s, transforming the way we work and live. We can make the drones so smart that they could be better than the satellites, better than Street View. This is perfect for the places where sensors can't get today. When I look at commercial drones, I'm excited by the technology as much as anybody else. I think it's neat, I think it's exciting. It's really hard to build a safe bomb dropping drone and one for avalanche mitigation. Graduate student Yash Mulgankar is part of a team developing a robot capable of mapping damaged buildings without human intervention, using only an onboard camera and a laser imaging system. But like some security professionals, I look at that and I can also see the darker side of what the potential is of someone taking that technology and doing nefarious things with it. It may be only a matter of time before terrorists mount an attack using commercial drones. So the armies of the world are racing to find ways to stop drone attacks in their tracks. You go to any event where people are worried about a terrorist attack, you've got a lot of police on the ground. But up in the air, it's wide open. We don't have defenses up in the air in third dimensions. So now that people can use drones to leapfrog over those defenses, we're having to think about how do you how do you mitigate them, how do you deal with them. We're out here at Quantico Marine Corps Base. In particular, we're at the Urban Training Center. There's a lot of new technology that's coming out. So we're trying to get an assessment of where the counter technology is. How good is it at stopping this technology if someone wanted to use it for a bad purpose? Entdeck den vielseitigen Einsatz von Drohnen und weitere spannende Themen in der neuen Staffel von Breakthrough. Aufbruch in unsere Zukunft ab 25. Juni 20.10 Uhr.